I'm here talking about the Apexel Phone Micro 5. Now what this is, is a microphone attachment for your main phone camera lens that has 150 times magnification. So if you ever really want to get into macro photography, this little attachment lens goes on the main camera of your iPhone 15 Pro Max or whatever iPhone Pro you have, and it basically gives you that 150 times magnification. Now you kind of see how it sets up. It's got the little adjustment here that you unscrew and screw and you line the lens up. You have to make sure that it aligns to the main camera lens on your camera. And then once you have fixed it into place, then you simply put your phone on a tripod and you start zooming in and showing macro to whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up the lens and show you how to set up the lens right on my phone. And then we're just gonna show you some of that macro photography and some of that video recording and see how it looks with this Apexel microphone lens. Now again, 150 times magnification. I can't wait to see what I could see with this lens attachment. Now when attaching that Apexel macro lens to your phone, you want to make sure that your camera lenses are nice and clean first because any smudges on the legends will show up and really impair your ability to see what you want. Lining up the camera lens takes a little bit of work. You can see you can just put the clamps around the side of your phone and you have to kind of slide the lens to where it's over the camera. Now to do this effectively, you should open up the camera app on your phone so that way the camera app on your phone can kind of help you guide when you've got the you know the lens properly over the camera lens of the phone you can kind of see it so here i'm opening up the camera on my phone and again you have to line up the apexel lens to make sure it fits right over your main camera lens perfectly you have to kind of manipulate your camera and make sure you accidentally don't put your camera in the macro mode where it uses the macro lens and the wrong lens so you have to keep it on primary lens mode get it to line up perfectly and you could see when you have the circular visibility, you know, you see the brightness through the lens and it's not kind of obscured by shadow or any, you know, darkness, then you know you got it right. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna twist the little clamp up here to make sure it's nice and tight and it doesn't come out. As you can see here, I don't have it perfectly lined up yet. I'm still working to line it up. It takes a little work to finagle it. So make sure if you wanna do a lot of macro photography shots that you actually line it up and you plan on keeping that for a while because it does take quite a little bit to get it in and out but now that i have it in you have a button on the side here to turn on the light and there's different light colors which i'll show later but i have just the blue light that it has on here and again this is me showing you the macro mode and just how close you can get this is the metal watch band zoomed in and again i'm gonna show it from the camera and i'll go ahead and show you how it looks like when i put the record mode on the phone itself so it can record the macro videography um, by itself besides me just showing it right now through my camera looking through my phone's camera so again here is the light on it and again you could press it and switch between the different colors you pretty much got this blue light and then you could switch it through the white light which is actually a little brighter and you can see here how the stainless steel looks on this watch band with the bright light and so you have the power button for the light on the top right of the Apexel lens and then the bottom right is how you switch the light color. Again, this is 150 times magnification. I'll look at the leather part of this band and you can see the grain and details here. Pretty impressed with how much it magnifies. It's so much more magnified than the regular phone lens. You can see the little brush steel here on the side of the band, but we'll go ahead and show you some other objects as well. So here's me just taking a look at my fingernail under the magnifier and all the little grooves and lines that I have in my fingernail, which was pretty interesting to see. And then of course I got a little bit of a ballpoint pen cap to show you what the blue plastic looks on a ballpoint pen cap. And like, look at that close up here, the little textures and marks on the pen cap here. And so I was really, really impressed just how fine the texture is. I can't imagine how it would look to see an insect this close up under it, which was one of my future tests I'm gonna do. But here's what a ballpoint pen looks like underneath the magnifying lens. And you can kind of see just how close it gets. Let's see what else can I grab here. Let me look at this metal side of this old light flashlight. Again, this is the metal texture on the handle. Again, really, really nice detail. Get really close. Now, just note that with the magnifying lens, you have to pretty much touch the object with it. It has to get that close that you pretty much have to rest your phone in where the lens is and press it up against the object. So that's how that looks. And again, looking at the light bulb section here, it doesn't quite do as well with the plastic here, but it does fairly, fairly well. My next test, I took this travel jewelry box here, which kind of has this like fur felt on top of it. 
and I got really, really close on the little felt fur, which looked really cool. But look how close you can get on the zippers. These are those brass colored zippers and the textures you could see in the groove and the cuts of each zipper head. Uh, I was really, really impressed. Plus the texture of that faux leather, that's where the zippers are and connected. That's pretty impressive. So again, if you're looking for a way to take really close magnified videos or photos with your phone, this Apexel macro lens was extremely impressive. I really was impressed on seeing how much detail I can get with some of the objects I held up to it.